Hey, Andy here from builderhottub.com. In this video, I'm going to discuss whether you should change a circuit board or the whole spa pack. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so if you're watching this video, your spa pack has probably gone bad. You've identified that the circuit needs replacing and you're deciding whether to replace the circuit board itself or replace the whole spa pack. So hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have weighed up the two for you and you can make an informed decision. Before we get going, always a great opportunity for me to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, parts, and pretty much everything in between. So with that out of the way, let's start with circuit boards or PCBs. In order to replace one, you've got to identify what you've got and you've actually got to find a match. And if you've got an older hot tub, so if you're looking at maybe 10 plus years old, the chances of you finding a circuit board, obviously with age, are going to go down. So it becomes harder and harder to find some of the circuit boards for the spa packs from that particular era so if you have got an older hot tub switching out the circuit board may not even be an option just because you can't get supply if you can find the circuit board you've found the model number the next thing to check is the revisions so manufacturers put different revisions out on those circuit boards under the same name so it might have the same product name but the revision may be slightly different with those revisions, the compatibility or the support for the ancillary products, things like the pumps or the blowers that you're connecting, they can actually change. So you've got to check that what you're replacing is gonna support the kit that you've got inside of your hot tub. The next thing to think about is cost. Uh, it's pretty obvious, but cost does come into it. The older the tub, the older the spa pack, the rarer the spare parts, the more expensive they're gonna be. So you could end up paying more for a circuit board than you would for a whole brand new replacement spa pack. So that's definitely something to look at when you're evaluating whether to replace a, a whole pack or just the circuit board. As a rule of thumb, if your circuit board is costing upwards of $500, then find a replacement pack. It's gonna be much cheaper. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna share the spa pack that I like to replace and use on all of my builds as well. Another thing to consider with the circuit board is your supplier's return policy. There's a lot of suppliers out there that will not accept electronics back. So if you buy the wrong part, and it's not compatible, you're gonna be left with an expensive circuit board that is no use to you whatsoever. So always check the supplier's return policy before you buy a circuit board. And the last thing to think about with the circuit board is how comfortable you are with replacing it in terms of the wiring and putting on, working with electricity, that kind of thing. It's a relatively straightforward task, but you know, Make sure you're comfortable with what you're doing. And if you're not, of course, consult a qualified electrician or indeed bring in a qualified electrician to do that replacement for you. Obviously, that will come at a cost that you've got to factor in as well. So what about replacing the whole spa pack if your circuit board goes down? Well, my big piece of advice here is you don't have to replace like for like with the spa pack. So what I mean by that is if you have a particular model of spa pack, you don't have to replace it with the same one. Why am I telling you that? Well, if you've got an older hot tub and you've got an older spa pack, you can see where I'm going with this. Availability is gonna be less, prices are gonna be high. So switching like for like, you could end up spending a lot more money than if you got a newer spa pack that comes with a bundle. I say a bundle because if you change the spa pack, the chances are you're gonna to need to change the top side control or your little keypad as well. How do you know if you're paying too much for a replacement spa pack? As a general rule, if you're paying 
over around the $600 mark. That's an expensive spa pack and there are newer, cheaper models that are available. So what's my preferred model of spa pack for a replacement in this kind of a scenario? Well, it's this one here. This is the BP7 from Balboa. It's been designed so it can replace all of the previous Balboa spa packs and it's compatible as well if you're replacing things like ACC or Gecko as well. There's up to 32 different combinations for the kit that you've got plugged into it. So it's gonna have a program for you. A side note, you may need to change the connector on your pump and your blower depending on the spa pack that you have originally. The BP7 comes with the AMP or AMP connectors, which are the white connectors that push in. So if you've got any of the colored ones or the J and J's, then you're gonna need to change those over. At time of recording, you can pick up a BP7 and a TP600 topside control as a bundle for under $500. And I'll put a link to that underneath this video so you can find the spa pack if you're looking to replace one. It's definitely worth considering. If you're not sure, get in touch, hit me up in the comments. You can get in touch via the website as well. I'm always happy to hear from you and will happily advise whether it's gonna work for you and the kit that you've got. Hopefully you found this short video useful and you can make an informed decision whether you should be switching a PCB or whether you should be replacing the whole spa pack. And if you're gonna do that, replace it with that BP7 and there's that link underneath this video. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks ever so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.